Welcome to Adventures in Geocaching with your host, You Got a Friend in PA. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode. We are back again at Surrey Glen Park in Lower Nazareth Township. I have gotten a cache here on a previous episode over by the parking lot. Now we're walking across the grass field on this cloudy winter day. We're about 475 feet. Okay, made a way in, I made the find, this little micro container with a hanger on it, gives you a little bit of a clue that this is going to be a tree hanger, or it's going to be hanging on something, and looks like I'm going to wind up being the fourth to find. Two other people were here. They just haven't logged it on the website yet. That's a shame. But that's okay. A find to find, a smile is the smiley. I'm gonna sign a log. I'm gonna put it back. And in the meantime, here come your four pictures. GeoSense challenge time. Is the cache hanging on this bush? Is the container hanging in the small bush? Is the cache hanging in the larger tree? Is the container hanging on this bush? Now, take a look at all four pictures one more time. Picture 2 is incorrect. Picture 1 is incorrect. Picture 4 is incorrect. Picture 3 is the correct one. You seen the four pictures? Did you log your answer on the poll to share with everybody else to see how well you did? Because if you picked picture number 3, you got this one correct. Picture number 3 was the better of all four pictures. Now I showed you in all four pictures of hanging spots. Don't get me wrong. Two other locations could have been good. Uh, the little, the picture of the little bush by the geo trail on the way in. No. So let's put this back and show you exactly how it was hanging. You come into the tree line through here. There's the little bush in the picture that I said it definitely wasn't. You come in here. Behind this first tree here. And then this cache. This cache is kind of hanging back there like that. It's hard to see when you're out there because it's behind. But once you come in and turn around, it's easy to spot. All right. Get come out of the tree, tree line here. Now, if you take a look over here by those pine trees, that was the previous cache that we did on the previous episode. And then over there by those shrubs, that's where the parking is. Cash number one has been found. Making our way back to the parking lot. Our next two caches for this episode. We're going to be heading down towards Lake Naka Nixon. <clears throat> it's outside Quaker Town. All right, cash number two for today. It's a micro. Three and a half difficulty, one and a half terrain. 
but it's actually a nano with a ring on it. The log's soaking wet, so I'm not going to be able to sign it. But I will be able to give you a GeoSense challenge on where this cache is. We're at a local ice cream shop off of Highway 563, down by Lake Knox and Mixon. And it's a uh, chilly day today. But here comes your four pitches for your GeoSense challenge. Good luck. Now remember, after picture number four in the right hand corner, hit, hit the pole, log in your answer, and see how well you did against other people. Be back to show you where it was. GeoSense challenge time. Is the cache hidden in the white pipe? Is the container hidden in the old phone booth? Is the cache hidden in the wooden electrical box? Is the container hidden in the old meter base? Now, take a look at all four pictures one more time. Picture 3 is incorrect. Picture 2 is incorrect. Picture 4 is incorrect. Picture 1 is the correct one. Picture number 1 was correct. It's inside the white tube. Now inside the white tube is a piece of rebar. The ring was around the rebar laying on the ground with the white tube over it. I moved it probably five times before I made the find. Now I'm going to show you how it was set. Come behind the old phone booth, slide this up, there's your little piece of rebar, slide the ring over it, put it all the way down like that, and put the white pipe back on top. That's how it was sitting. Cache number two in hand, off to cache number three. Let's go. All right, we're at the side of the road here for a cache and dash. The micro, one and a half, one and a half. Here's the container. All that was inside was a couple pieces for logs. Simple, easy find. While I'm signing this log, you take a look at the four pictures. Take the poll, lock in your answer, see how well you did against others. And I'll be back to show you exactly which picture it is, but here they come. You take a look and take a guess. GeoSense challenge time. Is the cache hidden in the end of the guardrail? Is the container hidden on the guardrail? Is the cache hidden on the sign? Is the container hidden on this mailbox? Now, take a look at all four pictures one more time. Picture 4 is incorrect. Picture 1 is incorrect. Picture 3 is incorrect. Picture 2 is the correct one. Picture number two, tucked in the guardrail like usual. Let's put it back and get out of here and move on down the road. Alrighty, here's the guardrail. Come down here. There we go, now I can get it to focus. Just sitting there just like that. All right, we took a walk through a park. We found a three and a half difficulty and then we did a simple cash and dash on the side of the highway. Thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like it. Hope you did good on the challenges. And I will see you on the next episode.